To get into the sheet metal industry, it is very important that you have some good knowledge of sheet metal. So this video is for those who are applying for a job in sheet metal industry and you will gain some basic knowledge about what are the basic sheet metal questions that are getting asked before hiring you at the interview. So let's get started with the general knowledge of sheet metal engineering question. The most common question that is being asked in the sheet metal industry is what are the types of sheet metal available in the market? Now to answer this question, you can say there are mainly three types of sheet metal that are available in the market for sheet metal projects. One, stainless steel, two, mild steel, and three, aluminum. Sometimes we can use copper or bronze depending on the use of the metal or depending on the customer's requirement. Now, if you look into this, these metal are further classified into more common uses. For example, stainless steel, the more common uses are SS304 and SS316. These are the two most common grade. Now SS304 is used for a general stainless steel purposes where we are going to use it for semi exposures to toxic environment. But SS316 is used when there is a highly contaminated environment or high chlorine available in the atmosphere. Now let's understand aluminum. Now, LA is further classified into three parts. So starting with the most basic grade, which is 5005, then 5052, and then after that, 5083. Now, there is one more grade, which is 6061, but it is not required that much for sheet metal. If you know the reason why we don't use 6061, give me in a comment and I will, I will tell you whether it is right or wrong. Now, the reason why we are using these three grades is 5005 and 5052 are good for level grade. And we, as soon as we increase the number, for example, 5083, it becomes more brittle and less foldable. But still, 5083 can be folded if we take some good measurements. Or, for example, folding in the direction of grain uh, using a bigger V to make sure that it doesn't deform or it doesn't get cracked uh, with, the inner, with the pressure from punch. Now, after aluminium, one of the most common sheet metal that is used in the industry is mild steel. Now mild steel has lots of different types depending on the use. Because mild steel is so versatile, we can galvanize it. So there are sheets available in the market which is already galvanized, that is called pre-gal, which is called galvanized sheet. Another one is medium protection of surface, which is called electro-galvanized. It is considered as EG. And the third one is regular mild steel products. Now in regular mild steel, which is black mild steel, which comes two parts, hot roll and cold roll. Now cold roll it doesn't come with any other grade, but in hot roll there are various different grades. For example, grade G250, grade 300, grade 350 and so on. It is good to have knowledge about different grades and how to identify them. Now another important question that can be asked is how formability of material is dependent on the material type and material thickness. Uh, if you have a piece of paper, it is very easy to fold. But if you have, instead of piece of paper, if you have a cardboard, it takes more force to fold the cardboard, correct? Similarly, if the material is thin, it is easy to fold, it requires less pressure to fold. And just opposite to this, if the material is thick, it requires higher pressure, higher force, and some more handling to handle those thick material. When it comes to material type, there are two types of material, mainly soft material and hard material. In terms of, so soft and hard material is mainly on how much pressure that you need to apply to permanently deform the metal. It is very easy to fold soft metals or form soft metals like aluminium and copper. Similarly, it is difficult to fold hard metals like mild steel or stainless steel or sometimes even titanium is very hard to fold. Okay, that's enough about material thickness and material type. What are the other factors? that you know that affects the folding of metal or that affects the formability of metal. So this is a very common question and this is a very important question because they want to know what you know about the sheet metal. Do you have actual experience or not? Another question they can ask you to check your general sheet metal knowledge is what are the methods for cutting a sheet metal? So the question to answer this question there are many other methods that are available in the market for example punching, sharing, blanking, gulletin, or using a laser or water jet cutter to cut the sheet of metal. So far, 
you just need to make sure that you have some good knowledge on sheet metal industry and show yourself with good confidence and prepare for the interview. If you like this video, you can check out my other videos which, which will really help you to get some good interview advices on sheet metal industry. Some knowledge is only industry experts related, but you will find all those knowledge explained in a very simple way into my other videos. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe. I really appreciate your support.